Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the app that I use the most on my iPhone. And the reason I'm making this video is because since inception of smartphones, the primary interface that we use to interact with our phone has been keyboard. We use keyboard to send messages, write emails, write tweets, and every single thing that requires communication happens with keyboard. But here we talk about voice AI. And now the technology is smart enough that I practically don't use my keyboard at all for all of these tasks. And I can just dictate what I want to speak in whatever language or format and the AI will take care of the rest for me. So I can just speak whatever I wish in my speed and even if I talk very very fast, it's going to transcribe every single thing with utmost accuracy right here on device for me. And you see, everything just got transcribed with exact words and punctuations. I can also speak random things and the AI will be able to figure out what I actually wanted to say. Here is how. Make a note that I need to go to the shopping mall tomorrow at 9am. Actually no, I want to go at 10am and I have to pick up flowers, roses, uh, no actually I want to pick up lilies on the way back home. And it's going to transcribe and it just figured out all my edits while I was speaking that on the fly and I just have a clean and sanitized text. That is super powerful. The next powerful thing I'm going to show you is how I can switch languages and it's going to just combine everything in English, right? So let me do that as well. Dobre utra, minya zabutresh i yagawaru paruski se chas. और मैं अब हिंदी में स्विच करता हूं तो क्या ये मेरी भाषा ट्रांसक्राइब करेगा एंड इवन इफ आई एंड दिस सेंटेंस इन इंग्लिश लेट्स सी इफ इट कैन फिगर आउट ऑल द थ्री लैंग्वेजेस एट वंस सो इट्स गोना टेक इट्स टाइम टू गेट द एआई प्रेसिंग डन and here it is it's not only able to transcribe but also translate multiple languages on the fly and all these things and much more is what we are going to explore in this video. It's going to be super interesting. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this is Spokenly inside my iPhone. And let me just walk you through the basics of what we have inside the app as a whole. So the first view is of Transcribe, where you can live transcribe and test how any of these models work. We'll come back to this. Second one is type in the apps. This is the way. Spokenly is able to type inside any app. So the way Spokenly does it is it does dictation enabled as a feature inside the custom keyboard that it has. And you can disable this after whatever time frame you find it comfortable. But for that time, Spokenly will be able to capture whatever you are speaking inside the keyboard. I'll just show you how that works. This is the AI prompt section, which is where all the magic happens. So where you can actually give any prompt and go to these settings and choose whatever provider you want to choose. Like I have Google, Grok and OpenAI. And whatever you transcribe is going to get passed through this prompt and through all of your LLM settings. And then it can return the result. This is super interesting and it makes the transcription really advanced. I'll just show you in a minute. Uh, history is where you save all your history and you have an option to choose Till what time Spokenly keeps your history and yes there is an option to not record history at all as well. In the settings, these are the default settings that you have. Uh, you can check it out. But let's now move to the fun part. So we first go to transcribe and if you are in the latest iOS, Apple Speech Analyzer is hands down the best, the most accurate and the fastest model that I have experienced for speech to text inside your iPhone. And more so it's an offline model. So none of your speech is going to go to any AI servers unless you choose to have an AI prompt manually. But by default, this is super fast and super amazing. Let me just show you how it works. So I'm going to click this button and it's going to start transcribing right away. This is a test of how Apple Speech Analyzer is able to transcribe my speech even if I'm speaking super duper fast for a YouTube video tutorial. And you saw within a second, it was able to transcribe my speech with correct capitalization of Apple. Apple is so funny about that, that it cannot have Apple in small letters. So the A is always capital. And check the YouTube word is actually transcribed in the correct camel case like it should have been. So, so if you are in the latest iOS, this is the mode that you should be choosing. 
in Spokenly. Now, if I go here, click here, you will see these are a lot of voice models that you have as an option to choose from. And you can choose from anything that you prefer, be it GPT, Sonyox, Mistral, Libram, Cartesia, whatever you wish. Now, the first section is for online, second is for local models. So, like Apple Speech Analyzer is a local model, which transcribes everything you speak inside your iPhone. And here you have the option to choose whatever language you speak. If Apple's engine supports it, I don't think there's a better option available right now. A very close competitor to Apple Speech Analyzer is NVIDIA Parakeet. And NVIDIA Parakeet is also multilingual, but it supports a specific set of languages. I'll put the list of those languages on the screen right now so that you can see which languages are supported by NVIDIA Parakeet. But if the language you speak is supported by this model. This is the best option for multilingual language switching on the fly. And it catches the nuisances of your speech very accurately. Now, if you have space constraints, Whisper models and the distilled models inside Whisper can be a good choice depending upon how much accuracy or speed you want. One thing I should tell you that inside these voice models, there's always a trade-off between accuracy and speed. So if you want best accuracy, you have to compromise on speed and if you want the fastest speed possible the accuracy is a little bit compromised right so you have to see which one works for you the best most of these whisper models works on english only so that is something that you have to keep in mind and next section is api and this makes spokenly 100 percent completely free to use so if you bring your own keys there's no charge at all to use spokenly inside your mac or inside your iPhone. So I use this method because I have contracts with a lot of these companies for my other AI stuff. So I just use that and it's super cheap. And the way you can just click on any of this like that and just put in your key and put in your model and then it will enable that for you. So once this is enabled, you can just select your model here to test how it sounds like. And for some models like Sonyox and Deepgram, there's also a real-time transcription happening on the screen. So if that is important for you, you can choose any of these models. So for example, if I choose Sonyox and go here, and let's say I am going to test it again. So I'm using the Sonyox API right now. And as I'm speaking, it should basically display what I'm speaking in real time as streaming on my screen. And it should also do punctuations on the fly. Right. So you saw this is how Sonyox works and it's similar to Deepgram. So if I go to my voice models and select Deepgram, let's see how that works. Okay, now I have switched to Deepgram and it should be working flawlessly as well and giving me real-time feedback with streaming text. And I willingly paused a lot more than I should have before speaking the last text word and Deepgram figured out that it was a part of the whole sentence and initially it did put it as a separate word but in the end it figured out everything and the transcription is flawless the punctuations are there the words are transcribed so I don't think it can get any better and also these are multilingual Deepgram and Sonyox are multilingual and you can speak I think more than 50 languages and switch between them on the fly and it's going to transcribe everything for you right okay next up let's come to type in the apps so this is where the magic happens using this you can dictate any text inside any app let me show you an example so if i go here and i go to my notes uh, app i'm going to switch the keyboard to spokenly like that right and for the first time this would be grayed out you see the spokenly logo and the text is grayed out once you press record, it's going to switch back to Spokenly and going to enable the dictation mode. This is a limitation of Apple, unfortunately. So it has to do it. There's no other way, right? So let me give you an example. This happens and it comes back, right? Now you see uh, on the top, we have this Spokenly uh, logo and a slight and a dot that says that the audio is being recorded right now. This is Apple's way of showing the user that the audio is in use. But even though it means that the audio is being recorded continuously, it's not. It's just a permission that Spokenly has to get from the iOS in order to get the transcription going, right? So let's record this. So now I'm in my keyboard mode and I have opened my notes app and whatever I speak should be transcribed and translated in real time as I speak and should be pasted as soon as I stop speaking. And if I insert this, you can see zero errors, exact pronunciations, exact punctuations, and it's just beautiful, right? And 
And right now, the model it selected was deep ground because that is what we had selected inside this option. If I choose another model, let's say I choose Apple Switch Analyzer, like that, and I go back to notes, and now if I record, it's not going to stream because Apple Speech Analyzer does not have streaming support, but it's going to be super fast because Apple's model is on device and offline. So now I'm testing the speech model of Apple and let's see how accurate and how fast it is because it's on device and nothing goes to the cloud. Right. So the speed are pretty much same, but the advantage is that Apple's model is offline. And this is the question enabled option. Now let's go to the fun part, which is the AI prompt. So here you can see I have these prompts. So let me show you my first prompt. This is just uh, fixing the grammar and punctuations. And if I'm uh, suffering or kind of doing ums and ahs inside my speech when I'm speaking, which usually a lot of people do, including me, this is going to just clean up everything and give me an accurate transcription. Because even though Apple's speech analyzer or TGram or Sonyox are really great at figuring out stuff, but sometimes we just speak something and we want to delete some stuff and we want to replace some stuff. That thing cannot happen inside the voice models. For that, we have to have an AI model after the voice model that has to process whatever we are speaking, right? So this is the way you can create prompts. So you can just go here and enter whatever you want to make that prompt do with your transcription. And in the advanced settings, you can choose your name, description, and the important part is the AI provider, right? So you can choose any AI provider that you wish. The way to link it is go back here and go to this option on the top right and press the plus button. And here you can add any of these as your custom AI providers. Like I have Gemini, Grok and OpenAI using my own keys, right? So if I go again inside here and you see now the record is again disabled because my setting to auto disable this is within one minute. So now I have to again click record and it jumps back and now it will be recording whatever I'm speaking, right? So let me just select all of this and delete. Now the way to select what prompt to use is very simple. Just press on here and you can select any prompt right now, right here, right? Now I'll speak in some fairly scattered way and let's see if the OpenAI prompt is able to fix my mistakes, right? Okay, so I think I'm writing a letter to somebody and he should be telling me about how their day was and they should tell me when did they go to shopping. Oh, not really that. Uh, they should tell me when did they read that book that I gave them yesterday. Actually not yesterday, but day before yesterday. And it's going to transcribe and it's going to pass whatever I have spoken. Yeah. So you see in the last sentence, while I was speaking, I was making mistakes. And now the text is completely clear. It correctly made day before yesterday. And it also corrected the shopping thing to read the book. That is the power that AI prompt gives you. So you can just speak your mind, whatever you wish, and let the AI handle the correct transcription on the flower. Now what I have done here is I have also made custom prompts for WhatsApp and my multilingual prompting using English. If you are multilingual, this is going to do wonders in your life, right? Because the limitation of any voice model is it can accurately transcribe your voice in any language that they support. But the problem is that they are going to write that language in that script. Now, if you want to convert that script inside English, Latin alphabets, that's not possible using voice models. For that, you have to pass the transcription through an AI model, right? So for that, I have used this custom prompt right now from Hindi to English alphabet conversion. I'll show you how it works. And for that, I have to choose a different model because Apple Speech Analyzer does not support Hindi or other languages. So if I choose Sonyox, this is going to work really well. So I select this, I enable dictation, I go back and I just delete all of that. Let's say I select English, right? If I talk Hindi, how will this transcription translate? Let's see this now. So now it's going to convert from the Hindi script to English Latin alphabets. That is a very strong use of this whole app, this whole AI stuff and this whole transcription. This is what I use in daily life.
And in fact, if you are multilingual, you can speak like five languages. You can also use translation as an AI prompt. And whatever you speak is going to get translated in that language. And you can just talk to your friends across the globe. This is super, super powerful use. And it's unreal that it is all free inside Spoken League. Okay, now let me give you an example of an AI prompt that can do translation. So I will, let's say, speak. You'll be given a transcript in a foreign language. Convert everything into English and output the text. Okay, so this is there. I'm going to use name would be. Yeah, so let's say the name is automatically made as transcript translator. And it's done. Translation for into English. Okay, let's go back here and let's try to speak some of the language and see if it's able to translate what we are speaking and with how much accuracy, right? Translate Menya Zavotresh e Yagavaru Paruski Sechas e Menya Ochin Navitsa Marojna. Okay. Yes, it works. So I actually said, hello, my name is Rish and I'm speaking Russian now and I really like ice cream. It, it screwed up the punctuation slightly, but you see this button right here, you can actually, after transcription, choose which prompt to apply again to the same transcription that just happened on your screen. So if you have multiple specific prompts for one language, you can use those prompts to convert your transcription after it has been done inside your keyboard. No need to switch any apps again and again. So this makes Spokenly my most used app on my phone. So I have completely practically stopped typing on the keyboard because the transcription is so good, so perfect. And it doesn't matter which language I speak now because A, the voice models are so good that they are going to catch whatever I'm speaking. And B, even if they are not, and I'm trying to delete stuff, trying to say jumbled sentences, the AI is going to take care of the rest. And in the end, I'm always going to get the correct transcript, what I wanted to say. And this is the best implementation of all of this that I have seen. I have used every single Whisper app that is out there inside my phone and nothing beats brokenly. This is not sponsored. I am not being paid uh, to promote this app. It's just so good and it's my responsibility that if anything in voice is good, it will come on this channel and you will get an unfiltered review of that. And that was Spokenly. I really enjoyed making this video to be honest. And you can just search for the app and install on the iOS app store. And I'll also give the link in the description below. And again, it is not a sponsored review. I just love it so much that I wanted to share it with you because it's making my life easy every single day. And I hope it makes yours as well. And if you liked this video, there's one more on your screen right now, which you might also like. Either way, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.